everybody, bonjour, quay quay, it's Catherine here from Moonstar Lodge in Central Ontario and I'm here with the midweek reading for, uh, what is it Brian? The 10th to the 13th. 10th to the 13th says the Chief Goomba here. Alright, so we're still using the um, multi-dimensional divas and uh, the 11 dimensions of creation. We're still using the multi-dimensional divas uh, of creation working with the universe. We're still using uh, the same tarot and um, some couple of different clarifiers. You'll see the picture in the um, the full week video. The picture is available on Facebook and Instagram. So let's go to the cards, Brian. This is like one of these wowie woo woo super cool readings. We've got the High Priestess here. She's calling down the energy from Source and the energy from Earth and she's asking from beyond the veil if we remember her and remember how she is uh, able to bring us to Source and the Source of our soul journey. She's here to help us. Uh, she's a major player in the um, the reason why we're here, our destiny. And we can't get rid of this lady, the, the Queen of Wands. She's everywhere. She's everywhere like Chicken Man. She's, uh, and I don't say that to be disparaging. I'm just making a little fun because this is a big deck and she shows up two ways in this deck. She was painted twice, once with a snake and every time I pull her I pull the one with this um, beautiful chain. Or I think that's a chain of fire. So we are told about remembering to connect to Source this week in the um, as we get close to the fourth quarter of She Who Heals, we've got the passion and the fire looking up to Source, that from which all passion flows. It is the spirit of our journey. And this is the twin stars. These are stars twice. Stars are both light and energy. This is supposed to be Inanna and Ishtar. Ishtar and Inanna are the same um, goddess, just two different names for the same goddess. So this is the twin star of hope and healing and progress and enlightenment. It's synergy really. And of course if anybody has a synergy and energy source and, and matter, it's this queen. So you've got lots of energy here to to come back to remembering who we, who we all are and where we are supposed to be going and it's some basic um, eight of pentacles work we're continuing to work um, and this is this balance this is uh, we are skilled at our trade we're making progress we are uh, not needing to be mentored anymore if anything we're mentoring others this is about keeping at it, just doggedly determined. It's clarified in, uh, inter interestingly by the, a card that represents grief. And when I asked Spirit to clarify why work would be filled with grief, um, I was reminded life isn't a situation comedy. This is this is sometimes what we do causes us pain and, and gives us a sore back and um, but it's it's about keeping on keeping on um, it's about knowing that uh, grief is a manifestation of sometimes having to make choices in our lives with respect to what we do and what we're good at and the seeds we plant so, you know, there is a balance. There's always a, uh, a balanced side to everything. It's, uh, th this card speaks to me of um, a number of things. This is the Justice card from the Major Arcana. So we have the High Priestess and we have Justice. Um, Eleven breaks down to two. They are two sisters within this progress. 
and process. So this speaks of Libra to me, and I'm going to ask the Grand Poobah to douse and see if I'm uh, catching this correctly. Are we speaking about this taking us to the time in October of the Veil? All right. So this is the time of Libra, and um, the balance and everything we seek is coming. And our guides and teachers say, because this is the deck of spirits, be calm and keep going. So don't stop your progress because you're feeling grief or some ch choice you've made perhaps uh, causes you to feel like you need to stop. Be calm and keep going. Justice is, is ours. This is a collective reading. Okay, Brian, you can uh, flip the camera. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I uh, am struck by the power of it. It's a very strong-willed, Taurus the Bull kind of energy. It's also a very Leo energy. So, um, by all means, uh, let's all keep on going because the more we, we walk our talk and follow what it is we're here to do, the greater change we make in the world. So, and for ourselves. Anyway, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. That helps us decide whether to keep going or not. Uh, the astrological videos are up on YouTube for all 12 astrological signs. And uh, send me a coffee. I, I am always grateful, as well as leave your comments. I will answer you or like your comment. Aho.